Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use time tickets to record the time spent performing activities by employees and vendors. You can record information for many days or for a single day by using either one of the two different windows provided for time ticket entry. To enter detailed notes about a single day, you may want to use the time tickets window. To enter activity for several days, you may want to use the weekly timesheet window. Regardless of which window you use, you can view time tickets entered into one window within the other two. These windows are just two different views of the same time ticket data entered into Sage 50. To enter a single time ticket, select Tasks, Time Expense, Time Tickets from the menu bar to open the Time Tickets window. To enter multiple time tickets into a weekly timesheet, select Tasks, Time Expense, Weekly Timesheet from the menu bar instead to open the weekly timesheet window. In either window, select whether the time ticket is for an employee or vendor by choosing the desired option button. Then select the specific employee or vendor for whom you are recording the ticket by using the drop down that appears below the option buttons. Next, if using the weekly timesheet window, ensure you are viewing the correct week for time ticket entry. Use the week including drop down to select a day of the week that includes your time ticket entry days or use the previous week and next week buttons to select a week for time ticket entry. The days then appear in the grid below. Then select the purpose of the time ticket entry from the To Be Applied drop down in the time tickets window. You can select either to a customer invoice, against a job, or as an administrative task from the drop down. This drop down in the time tickets window corresponds to the customer job administrative drop down within the weekly timesheet window. If you select either the customer or job options, use the adjacent drop down within either window to select the customer or job for which the ticket is being recorded. If entering a ticket through the time tickets window, select the date to record from the time details area. Next, in either window, enter the activity item that identifies the type of timed activity to record. Then in the time tickets window, enter the duration of the selected activity item into the time details section. If using the weekly timesheet window, enter the same activity durations into the boxes for each day shown. If the time activity recorded in the ticket is for an employee, you can also select a pay level from their employee record. Note that the employee must be paid by time tickets within the employee record to do this. If the time recorded is for a customer or job, then select a billing type for the ticket. After recording the time data, click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of either window to save the time ticket. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.